Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Look at that. New week, new Monday, new shirt. What do you think? You guys like it? Um, actually, this shirt ain't that new. Maybe new to you guys. You guys probably haven't seen this shirt in a long time or ever. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is just back when uh, I, I traveled through Colorado at some point. I never lived there. But, uh, yeah, anyways. You're here for Monday Motivation. In fact, you clicked on here because my thumbnail or something told you that I was gonna tell you guys how to recover from failure. It's easy, it's easy guys, come on. You don't need to watch a whole freaking video on it. <coughs> but I, you know, I really, really appreciate that you do. <laughs> but seriously, how do you recover from failure? Easy, you get up and you try again. I know, that's not what you wanted to hear, but that's pretty much it. The thing is, is that failure is um, a bad word to, to, uh, to a lot of people. But in my world, or, you know, in Jose's world, <laughs> uh, failure is actually uh, not a bad thing at all. It's actually a really, really, really good thing. Uh, failure is just a learning experience. That, that's it. All failure is, is that you attempted to do something we do things all the time, even if it's just walking, okay? So, for example, I'm not trying to put anything into the universe. Let me see if I can find some wood to knock on. All right, I'm knocking on wood, all right? I'm not going to tell you what kind of wood. But the point is, is that even if it's just walking, you, sometimes you trip and fall. That's failing at walking, all right? How do you learn to not trip and fall again? Well, you know, you look at the ground and you make sure that, you know, you're not gonna trip and fall or you pay attention a lot more or what have you and that's why the older you get the less you fall well it's not for everybody I know some people are always busting their ass no matter what but I remember when I was younger I used to fall and bust my ass all the time all the time seriously I thought I had weak ankles the point was it was like no not really it was just so many other factors that were um, you know, a part of that that uh, made me trip and fall all the time. But eventually, once I rectified those, aka I learned from my failures. Now, all of a sudden, I don't trip and fall anymore. Sorry, I just wanted to see if you guys were watching. Um, but yeah, I don't trip and fall anymore. Um, even even when I... Anyways, again, I don't want to keep putting it into the world. All these are poles or metal. I can't find anything to fucking knock on, man. This is already driving me crazy, see? I'm a little... You think I'm paranoid and I'm superstitious, I'm the whole nine, right? So, <laughs> not really, not so much. Look, that's a postal service guy, in case you guys are aware. It's it's not even 10 in the morning yet, it's like 9.45 a.m. on a Friday. 9.45 a.m. on a Friday. So, look, that's his, uh, you see? that's the post office guy so what I'm gonna be doing for the most part by the way just to talk to my fans out there um, I, I got some feedback on you guys on uh, what camera angle you prefer if it's this angle or this angle and the thing is that it's, just, it's all gonna like I've already kind of figured it out it's all gonna depend I obviously you guys like the other angle but like let's say we're doing Monday motivation this is the angle you're gonna get if we're talking about Merida we're gonna get this all right the first person point of view angle and uh, that's it and how do I know what what uh, what angle to choose from again from learning from experience you know from asking you guys from failing from failing and I'm still gonna be you know some episodes are gonna be double you know not double but you know they're gonna have both you know they're gonna have me like this episode is gonna have my face and you're also gonna see what's in front of me and things like that so you know we're gonna mix and match and then uh we'll figure it out as we go along and again that whole figuring it out as you go along you know notice that i say that a lot and i talk like that a lot well that's the thing you know the point is is that figuring it out as you go along um there's a lot of failure involved there all right i'm running across oh shit shouldn't have done that that was close that was a close one that was, that was, uh, see, I could have committed a mistake there and I would have learned not to do that anymore. But since I didn't have an accident there, 
what happens is is that I didn't learn from my mistake and I'm probably gonna commit it again so I mean again guys that's all failure is you know we're confronted with failure all the time constantly all the time every second of the day almost all the decisions you make have some sort of uh, background or basis on uh, the whole failure aspect of things and that's the thing you know guys like honestly it's like um, you know the whole the whole failure thing it's experience you know someone that's failed a lot you know been through a lot you know um, recovered from rock bottom a lot you know that that person is chock full of experience he's chock full of failure anyone that's been a success ever ever it doesn't matter who the hell it is I don't I don't care in fact um, Please, you know, um, I want to see if I can get proven wrong here. If there's anyone out there at all, okay, that has ever made it without failing, please let me know. I want to eat my own words. But anyways, as I was saying, you know, no one's ever, 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 ever succeeded doing anything without failing. We all fail no matter what. No matter what, who you think, you, they, they, anyone, all the time. All the time, whether it's saying the wrong things. And I'm not talking about the whole politically correct bullshit. I'm just saying, you know, let's say you're talking to a girl you like or a guy you like and you fucking uh, put your foot in your mouth. You say the wrong thing at the wrong time. You know, there's a million things like that, all right? So that's the point, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, look, this place just opened up not too long ago. It's usually like a breakfast place. I don't really, haven't come here much yet. That place is for rent. It looks like a nice place to hang out in. It's early. It's really early in the morning. I know I don't get out much early in the morning sometimes. I'm always working, but today's Friday. And um, again, look, I've learned from my mistakes. No, I'm a workaholic. I'm a freaking workaholic. And sometimes I work so much that it fucks up my relationships. It fucks up a lot of other aspects of my life. Um, and so I've learned, you know, now that I have this amazing girlfriend, this amazing girl in my life, someone that wants to be with me all the time, that I want to be with, you know, the whole thing, then, you know, it's, it's my time to learn from my mistakes. I mean, it's time to get what I learned from my mistakes. And um, and then like if, if I fail, it's on me, no matter what. It's always, you hear me say that all the time. Everything is always on you. Failures, wins, everything, everything, everything. It's always you, you know what I mean? Like, and that's the thing. And so it's like, you gotta take full responsibility. Once you start taking full responsibility, that's when, again, all the magic really starts to happen. Um, but I digress, you know, the whole full responsibility thing that, you know, that goes with the whole failure thing, you know, meaning that, you know, you're looking at failure like a learning opportunity, like an opportunity to grow, to get better, to, to everything, you know, like, again, I love failure. There's a lot of people out there that love failure, but again, it's always misunderstood or misconstrued into what that means. I succeed like a motherfucker. In fact, you know, I, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You know, I sometimes I succeed more than a regular guy out there. But it's like, I've also failed like a lot, a lot. I really fail a lot. Most people don't even want to go through that. Most people don't even want to put themselves in that position of failure. And, and that's the thing, you know, you don't, you don't get growth, you don't get anything from that. And so to me, I don't, I, I, I don't, I've never had a problem with failing. Maybe the thing is that like, there's a lot of people out there like me that don't have a problem with failing a lot. And I think it's because we failed so much and we didn't have a choice. And so you learn to embrace the failure as again, you know, learning opportunities, you know, growth opportunities, ways to make you, you know, self better. Because again, no matter what, every single failure, every single wrong decision, every single wrong, every, everything, everything that happens that you tell yourself like, oh man, I can't believe X, Y, Z happened. This sucks, blah, blah, blah. Instead of just dwelling on all that, you know, whenever the fuck anything happens, you know, no matter what, especially if it's something really negative or really bad in your eyes and your perception at the moment, you, this is like where you gotta now kick it up to another notch and be like, no, this, is, this was supposed to happen. I'm late because whatever, you know what I mean? X, Y, Z reason, you know what I mean? Meaning that, you know, I'm late because uh, the universe wanted me to be late because if I would have been early, I would have been caught in an accident or I would have, uh, you know, gotten there earlier than my boss and then, you know, I would have gotten in trouble. Whatever the fuck, whatever. That's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's always like looking at not 
you know, why are these negative things happening to me? But more like, well, why, you know, more like, you know, well, this negative thing happened. All right, hold on, there's music here, so let's just, you know, continue. I apologize. Anyways, but, yeah, you know, it's looking at it in the sense of, like, you know, not, um, damn, I forgot, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. But, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, when something negative or horrible or whatever happens to you, it's looking at it from a different perspective in the sense of, like, uh, well, why did this negative thing happen? And then trying to, like, you don't even have to figure it out or at least trying to explain it. Uh, but it's more like, you know, it's, it's, it goes back to faith. It goes back to a lot of things that we've all heard of um, when we were growing up. We, again, it doesn't matter what faith, if you have any faith or not, you know, or religion or anything. You know, meaning that, you know, a lot of us are like, whoa, everything happens for a reason. Or XYZ happened because XYZ was supposed, you know, like, and it's just, you know, being able to understand that when uh, failure happens, even when it's out of your control, even when it's something very negative, that it's it's not it's not not a bad thing. It just isn't. Everything is just another stepping stone to where you need to get to. But that's assuming that you know where you want to go, and that's assuming that um, you know that you know all these things are steps to get to where you need to get to, and so on and so forth. It's all about self awareness. It really is. It really really is. It has a lot to do with self awareness, and I think a lot of people. Unfortunately, we lack that, you know, we lack um, that, that self-awareness uh, situation there. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I think that's why a lot of things are happening in the world or in the country right now, because in the U.S., I mean, because of that lack of self-awareness and, uh, you know, the inability to check oneself when they wreck themselves. And that's basically what all this is, you know, it's just, you know, constantly checking yourself so you don't wreck yourself. And by the way, if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, look up that song. You're probably too young for this material <laughs> anyways but yeah really it, it really just boils down to that uh, you know um you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself and i mean uh, it's, it's self-explanatory self-explanatory how do you check yourself well the only way you can check yourself is again if you already know what you're doing or what you're about to do is wrong but how do you know that through experience and that's the thing and i mean it's so when you do something and you fail and you get conked over the head you know, you learn, hopefully, to not do that action again because you're going to get conked over the head. So you do another action so you avoid getting conked over the head. Now, if you continue doing the same thing over and over again, then you get keep, get, keep getting conked over the head. And if you keep repeating the same thing over and over again, that's the definition of insanity. Because, again, it's, uh, not, 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 it's not just doing the same thing over and over again. Because repetition is the key to a lot of things. But it's... Uh, Doing the same thing over, over and over again, and expecting the same, and expecting a different result. That's the, that's the insanity, and it happens to a lot of people out there. Where you guys keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're failing miserably, and instead of switching it up, you keep doing the same thing over and over again, hoping that things are going to change. They're not. They're not. Spoiler alert: things are not going to change if you keep doing the same shit over and over again. And that's the thing. And that's basically how you learn from failure because if you are again it doesn't matter what you're trying to do let's say you're shooting shooting monkeys in a barrel whatever i don't know it doesn't have anything you shoot once and you miss well what do you do are you going to keep shooting at that same spot that you missed that no you're going to move the barrel a little bit you know one way or the other until you figure it out and you hit the fucking monkey that's it i mean it's really not that hard. I mean, I, I get it. I get how this could be very, very hard for a lot of people. But the reality is that it's it's really not. It's it's all remember, we create these things for ourselves. We create these difficulties for and our these hurdles for ourselves that don't need to be there. They just don't. And that's the thing, you know, like this whole failure thing, I, I hate when people, you know, are always, you know, crying, woe is me, when there's some sort of failure. It's like, to me, I don't look at it that way at all. It's like, let's say I want something really, really, really bad. And just as I'm about to get it, I mean, I spent maybe years to get it. And just as I'm about to get it, something happens where failure hits me, okay? Hey, I don't know if I, yeah, hold on, hold on, because I think I was looking away when I was saying it. But again, let me, let me reiterate the point. So let's just say that I am looking forward to something for years you know whether it's something i was working on something that whatever it doesn't matter and all of a sudden right before i'm about to get whatever it is 
I, if failure happens, whether it's on my fault or somebody else's, it doesn't matter. A failure strikes. And um, most people, it, devast it devastates them. And again, you know, this could be a relationship, this could be a project, this could be a million things, okay? Very open-ended, okay? Because that's what this episode's about. You know, we, wanna, we need to realize what the hell. Um, but anyways, sure, I'm gonna feel sad, I'm gonna feel disappointed, I'm gonna feel all these things, you know, that are very natural, and I'm not telling you not to feel these things when there is some sort of failure like that. But the point is, is that, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just straight up give up and not ever try that again? Or are you gonna, you know, take a little two second break, pick back up all the pieces and start over again? And maybe this time it won't take you two years. This time it might take you a year and a half. And not only are you not gonna fail, but you're gonna all of a sudden, you know, go above and beyond uh, what you need to do to succeed. And how would you know what to do? Well, again, because you already failed and you learned a lot in that failure. And now all of a sudden, you know, you're, um, you know, you have all this education on life that no one's going to teach you. Um, the only way you're going to learn this stuff is by, again, repetition of uh, hitting your head over the, you know, over the peribial, um, uh wall of life. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like it's like, you know, most people, like I have a really hard head. So for me, it's very easy to, not, to fail constantly and, um, and succeed. For a lot of people, it's not, it's not. It's like, you know, one failure literally, you know, destroys them. And, um, you know, to me, it's like, I guess I've had so many failures throughout my life that at this point, like I've already learned that failures are not a bad thing, but they're actually a really, really, really good thing, okay? And it's all about what you do about it, how you channel that energy, that negative energy. I mean, do you make that negative energy into positive ions, into positive energy? I do. I, you know what I mean? I mean, seriously. I mean, we all have setbacks. We all have negative everything. It's a lot of things, for reals. I mean, even uh, like right now, as you're watching this, I'm recovering from a cold. But uh, again, by the time you're watching this, I'm already recovered from my cold. But when I got my cold or I was getting my cold, um, what did I do? Did I start like bitching and start complaining and start being sad? No, I was like, ah, fuck, I got sick. What am I going to do? So I got honey, I got lemons and I'm limes or whatever. And um, I just started, you know, drinking like tons of vitamin C, tons of, uh, you know, homemade remedies. And uh, I got better. But again, how did I learn from? And, and I'm sweating. That's why I'm wearing this extra shirt. It's extra thick so I can sweat even more. That's why I'm sweating so much this morning. I'm also, again, sick. I'm getting my camera sick. I'm getting you guys sick through the, I don't know, I'm fucking with you guys, but that's the point, you know what I mean? Like, I, I learned and I, how to tough through it, and that by toughing through it, instead of babying my, my illness, I, not only do I recover faster, but it's, it's just a minor inconvenience instead of a major inconvenience. Because there's plenty of people out there that they don't take care of it correctly, and what happens to them? They're sick for weeks, for, for months, for whatever. You know, I'm sick for just a few days. If that, you know what I mean? My immune system is already like, you know, the equivalent of like the US Army. It's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> yeah, anyways, that's up for debate. But the point is, is that, you know, at the end of the day, um, it, it's all learned from experience. It's all learned from failure. It's all learned from, you know, so many of these things that we look on um, as negative traits or values or whatever, but they're not, you know, they're, they're the complete opposite. And it's really up to you and how you are gonna decide, you know, what you're gonna do about these things, you know, um, that really dictates what happens from here on in. So again, from now on, I don't, want, I don't want you guys to look at failure like a bad thing. Failure from now on is a good thing. It's a, lear it's a learning experience. It's a way to make yourself better. It's a way to continue growing. It's a way to enjoy life. It's a part of life, okay? You can't enjoy the good if you don't know how to enjoy the bad, all right? So please, Start learning how to enjoy everything about life, all right? And know that everything is connected. And um, don't disconnect from anything, okay? Literally, okay? When the negative or the bad or it doesn't go your way, there's a reason for that, okay? So that's it, you know what I mean? Just go with the flow, guys. All right, guys, well, you already know the deal. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Thank you so much to everybody out there that's a, a major contributor. Thank you so much to all of you guys. I mean, for reals, I mean, I... I you guys help me so much all the time, you know, helping put food on the table for me and Lambo and so on and so forth. And I fucking love you guys. You guys are the best. I mean, and in more than ways than one. I'm not just talking about like, you know, donating, do donating or buying t-shirts or any of that mumbo jumbo, but you know, just so many more other things that you guys do for me 
just like I do for you guys, you know what I mean? Like, it's like uh, we're one big happy family and I fucking love you guys and you guys are the best and everyone on Discord and everyone in the live chats and everyone in every single ass, every single part of um, little Jose ecosystem here that we're building. But anyways, guys, I love you. You guys are the best. You already know it's Monday, so we're going to have a little Gary V action after all this and uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon and um, that's it. Peace out. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Oh, and besides, before I forget, don't forget, tomorrow is a Cuba upload. Like every single Tuesday, we got a brand new Cuba video up. Every Wednesday, we got the Wednesday live stream up. And again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every single day, daily uploads. All right? Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Do you ever get down? What gets you down? As long as the 8 to 12 core people in my life are healthy, I struggle to really get down. I just don't know how to do it. And so when you live your life that way, losing a big account or somebody calling you out is just not that painful. You just put it into context. I usually just like, you know, like take it. You know, like, you know what my, I, this is so interesting. I think you'll find this interesting. My favorite scene in movies is always when somebody gets punched in the mouth and they take the punch, they spit their tooth out and then they look back at the other person. I don't know if you've seen that. There's always some version of that scene. That's who I am as a fucking human being. Like, I'm built to get punched in the mouth, I'm gonna spit my front tooth out and I'm gonna look right back at you and be like, now what?